at the start of and reason and exclude. Oh, let's get back to her question. What did she say at the start again? Oh, she says she feels nervous because there's a camera in the classroom. Is it okay to feel nervous and out of your comfort zone? Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's okay. We sometimes all feel a bit wobbly, but it's okay. So she said that in the audit, 37 was the smallest. Do we agree or disagree? Disagree. And Laura, would you like to explain to Orla how you solved that problem? I wrote the numbers down in order that I got the things and put them down. So it was like 1, 2, 3 and a 10 and 1, 2, 3 and that's for E. Huh? And then 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So all this is... She says, is it important to show that there are tens and there are units? Why is it important? No. Well, she says, what would happen if you just put them all in a big jumble? You wouldn't know what was what. There would be like, like Yeah. So when we stretch our reason muscle, Rex the reason raccoon helps us to set things out in order, doesn't he? So that they don't, don't end up in a huge big pile, then all oh, nice and neat so we can count them. Who else would like to show us or explain to Orla how you set that That's which one's the smallest? <laughs> which one? Number three. Oh, and which one's the largest? Oh, she says, how many tens are there in 73? Listen carefully, how many tens are there in 73? If you're using the base 10 or the Numicon, how many would you have? Somebody help Evan out. How many tens are there in 73? All is asking. She's asking. She wants to know the answer. Hello, Seven. Seven, so seven tens, which is 70. Excellent. Thank you, Evan. So have you now got them in the right order? If we put that in Orla's book, if we just photocopy that, we stuck it in like that. Does that show the right order or could we write them out in a different way, do you think? How could we write them out? She, she wrote hers out in a big long line. <laughs>